Here is a very interesting example and we will try to understand whether these equations represent functions or not and we will also find their domain and range. So let us consider the given linear relations which are y equals to x, y equals to 5 and x equals to 3. Now what you need to figure out is first state their domain and range and then is each relation a function? Justify your answer. I'd like you to pause the video answer and then look into my suggestion. Now my approach here is to sketch these relations and then answer the questions. So let me make sketch of them one by one. So this is for the first one and then this one will make a small coordinate system for second and third. Now let's try to sketch them. When we say y equals to x it means what? It means if x is 1, y is 1, x is 0, y is 0, if x is 5, y is 5. So basically it's a line which diagonally divides the coordinate plane. So that is the line y equals to x. Now as you can clearly see that it is a function, right? For each and every value of x, we have a unique value of y. And domain is set of real numbers, right? x belongs to real numbers. And range is also set of real numbers. As normally we'll expect for every line. Okay. Now let's look into the next example. The next example is y equals to 5. Now what does that mean? It means that for every x value, y value is 5, y value is 5, y value is 5, y value is 5. That means it is kind of a horizontal line, right? That is y equals to 5. So with y intercept of 5, correct? So every x value ha is associated with one y value, which is just 5. Okay. So in this case, what is the domain? Domain is all the x values which belong to set of real numbers. But how about the range? Can you tell me that? Well, range is just 5. Do you see that? Range is just 5. Each and every element in x is associated with 5 in range. Do you see that? Okay. So, we see that also passes the vertical line trust, right? If I draw a vertical line, it connects only with one point, here also with one point. So, the first two are indeed functions, right? How about this one, which says x equals to 3? Now, x equals to 3 means what? It means that x value is just 3, y could be anything. So it is indeed a vertical line. Now vertical line will fail the vertical line test because if you draw this line then it is how many points on this line? Infinite, right? So, so this is not a function, right? So this is not a function. Now what is its domain and range? Now here as far as domain is concerned, we have just one element and that is 5. But as far as range is concerned, it is set of all real numbers, right? So y belongs to real numbers. Could be any number along this line. Do you see that? So that is how we can answer this question. It's a very interesting question. Have a good look at it and try to understand the concept. Thank you and all the best.